Now let's uh get into ordering the house. Go ahead, give me Genesis 3:16. All right, we're gonna deal with ordering the house. How must we order our house? Because that's a big problem in this community, right? That's a big problem in this community of broken homes, broken families. Let's read this. We're gonna go all the way to the beginning of the Bible and deal with the first man and the first woman and deal with marriage. Read. This is the book of James, chapter 3 and verse 16. Unto the woman he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow uh -huh. and thy conception. In sorrow thou shalt bring forth children, and they desire shall be to thy husband. that last part again? And thy, and thy desire, and thy desire shall be to thy husband. And thy desire shall be to your husband, and what shall he do? He shall rule over thee. And he shall rule over you. Now give me 1 Corinthians 11 and 3. So we're going to deal with the broken families in our communities. We're going to deal with the baby mamas, the baby daddies. We're going to deal with that today. We're going to give you the solutions on how we can fix that in this community. That should not be the case, a baby mama and a baby daddy in broken homes. That should not be the case. Read that. This is the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 11 and verse 3. Uh -huh. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. So the head of man is Christ, right? The head of the man is Jesus the Christ. Read on. And the head of the woman is is the man. Now the head of the woman is the man. What are we reading? The godly order. What? The godly order. That's the the Bible. Right. Read. And the head of Christ is God. Then the head of Christ is God. So that godly order is, guess what? You got God, you got Christ, you got man, you got woman. Read on. Every man praying or prophesizing, having his head covered, Jump down to uh, verse 8 and 9 for me. Verse 8, but the man is not of the woman. So the man is not of the woman, right? We just was reading that in Genesis. We just was reading that, guess what? That a woman's desire should be unto her husband, and he shall rule over her. That's what we just finished reading. That your desire, my sisters, shall be to that man, and he shall rule over you. Now, are we talking about any kind of man? No. If he a drug dealer, if he a drug addict, if he a lazy bum, if he a deadbeat, then no, of course not. But if he's not those things, if he's a godly man or a man trying to get right, he shall be ruling over you. Because guess what? If you're with him, nine times out of ten, you're not right. Now uh, finish reading that. Eight and nine. Verse nine. Neither was the man created for the woman, but the woman for the man. The woman was made for who? The man. My sisters, my brothers, you got to know your godly order. God made you to serve him, and then he created the woman to serve you. And then the children help her out. Y'all, my brother, I got a question for you. My brother right here in the blue shirt, I got a question for you. I got a question for you. Who is, is, is it 50-50, or is the man over the woman, or the woman over the man? 50-50. My brother in the red shirt, older gentleman. Is it 50-50 or is the man over the woman or the woman over the man? The woman over the man. Know, My sister right here, in the bonnet. Excuse me, my sister right here. You said you're not what this morning? She said she's not your sister. I heard she said she's not my sister. But then she said something else at the end. Oh, she said she ain't prayed this morning? Hey, you should pray every morning, my sister. It's a blessing that you was able to walk from wherever you walked into the store. Break it up. Especially if it was to break God's commandments that he didn't kill you. Give me all that real quick. Uh, the wages of sin is death. Give me that. Because what we don't understand is, as a people, we think we got infinite grace and mercy. We think we can do whatever the hell we want to do, and everything going to be all right in Jesus. Guess what? That is not true. That's it, the Bible. We can't, have, we can't do whatever we want to do and expect God to bless us. Read. This is the book of Romans, chapter 6 and verse 23. Bring it out. But the wages of sin is death. It says the wages of what? Of sin is death. So the wages of sin is death. Now, I know, my sister, you don't want to hear this word, but you waiting on that brother. So guess what? You're going to hear the word. This is the Lord calling you, my sister, calling you to repentance. Because you may not have known any better that you won't close to buy and sell today. 
You may not have known that, but we came to teach and show you that today is the Lord's Sabbath day and you should not be buying or selling. That's right. And if you know, do not do it. Because you said the wages for sin is death. Hey, my brother, you said it was 50-50? Read 1 Corinthians 11 for him again. This is the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 11, verse 3. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. So your head, my brother, is Jesus the Christ. Read on. And the head of the woman is the man. Oh, read that again. And the head of the woman is the man. Oh, the Bible says the head of the woman is the man. Read. And the head of Christ is God. And the head of Christ is God. So my brother, it is not 50-50. You are the head of the woman, and Christ is your head. I know you had a woman up in there, so you have to talk wisely. You know what I mean? You have to talk smooth. You look back, it's 50-50. You know what, my brother? You are above that woman, and that woman was made for you. That's right. I know a lot of us get to thinking that we got to serve the woman, happy wife, happy life. That's what my brother right here said, the woman is over the man. Should it be like that? You're just trying to get some ass. That's why you're saying that. Stop looking at the sister over there. That's why you're saying that. Our brothers like to, our brothers like to talk smooth. Give me answer 2216. You gotta watch our people, man. Our brothers like to talk smooth. I bet if I ask him, he's not married. He's so worried about these older ladies out here. He gonna talk smooth to us. Brother, if a woman rule you, you are a simp, weak man. That's right. Let me say, let me say that again. If a woman rules you, you are a weak, simp, Man. Wait. If it wasn't for woman, man won't be here. No, my brother. If it wasn't for a man, the woman would not be here. That's right. Read verse 8 for him in 1 Corinthians 11. God said the woman came from man. But the man is not of the woman, but the woman of the man. You gotta watch our brothers, man. They always worshiping the goddamn woman. Damn. But the oldest can be and talking about the woman is over the man. Talking about you gotta serve the woman. Talking about you wouldn't exist without a woman. My brother, the woman wouldn't exist without you. That's what, and I know why he's saying it. Give me Exodus 22, 16. The book of Exodus, chapter 22 and verse 16. Uh huh. And if a man entice a maid that is not betrothed. So a man entice a maid, he's spitting game. That's what that brother trying to do. Because when I ask him a question, he's not looking at me. He's looking at the sister over there. Talk, the, the, the woman is over the man. The woman. Brother. The woman is not over the man, but to appease her, to try to get in her drawers, that's, right. that's what you're going to do. You're going to say those things. You're going to try to say smooth things to entice the woman. That's right. Knowing damn well the woman is not over you. When has there ever been such a thing where a woman ruled over a man? That's what? right. And if a man entice a maid that is not betrothed and lie with her, he shall surely endow her to be his wife. Now, was that my brother's intentions? No. Because if you're saying those things, you understand that to make her your wife, you put things in order. Right. You admit, I did it the wrong way, but I'm about to get myself right, and I'm about to get her right. Right. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. is you.